it's Brittany. Welcome back to Forby Farms. I am here where my um, corn plot was. We had it covered up with tarps and unfortunately that did not help very much um, with the, the killing the grass. Um, so we uncovered it. I had it on there for about a, a little over four weeks and the grass was just still there a lot and so um, we went ahead and plowed it. My son, um, we got a new little tiller a little expensive for us to get this but I'm, I'm hoping we will be able to use it um, with the corn um, rows and then um, some other places in the garden that I'll show you a little later okay and if right here we are uh, laying down some more cardboard um, we had already laid it down right here where we had this mound um, and I'm gonna be shoveling some more dirt here in just a minute and we are going to be planting some potatoes we have about seven potatoes already planted uh, last week um, we had to take a week break because I had a migraine and my son was um, had a temperature so we took a week off. Um, but we're back at it this week and we can't wait to finish up our potato pot. Our potato hills, I guess. <laughs> so our potatoes, we're going to plant the rest of our potatoes today. So um, I was hoping to plant our asparagus. We're going to try those. Uh, but we do have some cooler weather coming in um, at night time so we'll have to figure out what we are really going to be able to plant and make sure we don't kill it um, planting it too early. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and get the rest of this dirt in the wheelbarrow and just lay it down in, uh, to finish the row off so we can finish planting our potatoes. So I'm going to do that real fast. close to me was um, at Lowe's and so we just got these they are um, rusted Burbank seed potatoes and so they just sorry my hands are dirty they just look like this and you can see um, they are starting to sprout so we, we got five per box um, and some of these whole so they came whole pota potatoes um, but some of them were actually uh, had a lot of ice coming off of them so I went ahead and just cut them off and uh, let them dry a few days and so they're harder this just helps them um, to not mold as easy um, if I were just to go ahead and cut this open and then plant it so I just went ahead and let them um, harden a little bit so we are going to be planting these like I said we already have um, five or six maybe seven potatoes already planted and um, they look just like this we plant them with the eyes pointing up and I believe we planted them about four or five inches deep into um, our mounds here so we're gonna go ahead and finish planting the rest of these it's my daughter Callie playing in the garden and my son Mason he's been helping us till and I'll show you a little more about the tiller um, and what, what we plan on doing with the corn plot here in just a little bit. So I'm going to go ahead and plant these potatoes.
rainstorm come through, so we had to go inside for a little bit, but it has uh, passed and the sun's starting to shine. Um, it's still a little chilly out here, but um, so we have planted all of our potatoes in our row. Um, we still have some cardboard laid down. We have more cardboard here that you can't see that we planted up last week. But um, we finished planting our potatoes. Now, I wanted to recap. Um, we planted our potatoes about three to four inches down um, and then covered it up with a dirt to make the mound. And then I spaced um, about six to eight inches of, of planted a potato. Um, and now, these will take a little bit to come up, but once they start coming up and um, sprouting some leaves, um, then we can go ahead and mound up some more dirt around it. Um, and so it, it'll have more room to grow um, and the more dirt we add so we can have more and bigger potatoes. Um, like I said, it did rain. So we are probably not gonna plant this with this. I'll have to do another video. Um, but I just wanted to recap everything that we did for the potatoes and what we plan on doing um, as soon as they start growing. So um, that's all I have for the potatoes. If you have any questions, please just comment below. Um, if you have any advice for me that I need to do or work on or that will help my potatoes grow better, I'd love to hear from you. Um, and if you want to keep on along, just like and subscribe and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.